What's going on guys? Your boy Joey Six Coming to you guys with a video right now. I was at work and my phone just said, fuck you, ain't gonna work anymore. So, um, I couldn't make a video this morning when I was at work. Um, I was gonna step out again and make another video, but my phone just didn't feel like recording videos today. So I'm on my tablet now. Ryan Matthews, finally, we have got the thorn out of our side. Ryan Matthews is out the door. Um, he probably came in to say, hey, I came in out of the shower of the Novacare complex. He's like, they're like, what is he? What are you doing here? He's like, oh, he's like, no, I'm just getting ready because I know you guys need me. And then we're like, no, we don't need you, Ryan. You can, you know, your shit's outside in a bag and you can leave. And he's like, oh, well, what do you mean? So, I mean, it didn't happen, but I'm just saying that that towel is just there because I ran out of paper towels to dry the, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, so Ryan Matthews cut, released, whatever, released off this team. Four million in cap space is freed up that money that we fucking need desperately. Um, it's about time because he finally got to Philly yesterday, took his physical, and then was um, past his physical. So now he can sign any team he wants. And as soon as he came back, to, as soon as he was officially on our roster, the Eagles wasted no time, cut his ass, get him off this team. Um, Ryan Matthews is a good running back. Just too injury prone. Can't can't stay up the whole season. Um, but got the four million in cap, so that'll help down the road. Or it can help us now. Don't know if there's any more moves up High Roseman's sleeves, but we'll see. Um, next thing I want to get to is the next thing I want to get to is pretty much Alshon Jeffrey and Ronald Darby could be making their debuts Thursday night against the Bills at home at the link in front of the crowd for the first time. Um, and it's very exciting. Um, it's about time. Let's see what Alshon Jeffrey can do. I know he's been out for, you know, been limited. He's been doing practice drills, you know, 11 on 11s, whatever, here and there. Um, but he's doing all he can. And then Ronald Darby, I wouldn't, I would expect them to at least put him out for a few plays. I don't care if it's with, you know, they're going to put him out for it with the first team at least. So, um, as number one corner, you know, cover the best guy. So, we're facing the Bills. So, I wish it was against another team that had a top corner that was a top wide receiver that was playing. But, I mean, who am I thinking of right now? Jordan Matthews is hurt. Anquan Bolden. I don't know who else is on that team because Sammy Watkins is gone. So, um,. I do not know. Fucking starving. Wait, just go off topic. I ain't eat a fucking thing all day. And we're good. All right. Alshon Jeffrey, been missed some time. And um, it's about time he's come back. You know, I understand that nobody wants him to play in preseason. Nobody wants him to play. Um, and let me tell you, everyone agrees. I agree. Don't let him play. But... He's got to get some reps because if he doesn't play for a while, it's going to feel weird. It's just, it's going to take him a little bit, you know, to start, you know, going. You know what I mean? He's got to have, he's got to have at least a few, you know, at least a few reps here and there. He might play for the whole quarter. He might play for two series and they might just patch him out and say, all right, that's it for you today. We want to save you for week one, you know, or the dress rehearsal for week three, one or the other. Um, but, um, it's, it's going to be quite interesting to see, um, what, how Alex, what Alshon's going to do. And we all, we all know what he can do. He catches those 50, 50 balls and he can go around. Of course, the ones could throw, doesn't have to throw a perfect bomb. Honestly, as long as it's in the vicinity of his catch radius, which is like here, there, there, here, he can go grab it and he can go up and get it. So I ain't worried about that. So if. Um, if we're worried about chemistry between Carson Wentz and Alshon Jeffrey, I think we'll be okay with that. From this offseason, I doubt that they won't be able to connect with each other. For God's sakes, let's get fucking real with that. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is I'm going to make a separate video on this. But I'm, the Eagles might be running, um, doing a wide receiver by committee um, week-to-week basis during the regular season um, for the slot receiver spot between Matt Collins and Nelson Aguilar. Um, I, want, I went to go touch up on this yesterday when I made that video and it cut out at the end because my phone died. Um, this is what I want to touch on that is that I don't agree with the whole committee. I don't run I, with a running with running backs. It's different because if you don't have a top star running back, then you can use 
different guys at certain points of the game. Or if you do have a star running back and you don't want to go crazy and, and, you know, run the ball with him 30, you know, 28 to 30 something times a game, you know, you can make it a little bit easier and have, have uh, any position by committee so everyone can get their chance to do something. As long as they're productive, that's where a committee comes in, in handy. Now, when you have Nelson Aguilar, Matt Collins, Matt Collins, of course, have, we have seen more from him. He has scored his first touchdown. First touchdown of the year came from Matt Collins in the preseason. And um, I, I can't lie, the guy just, he showed everything. And um, between his speed, being 6'4", uh, he's, he's very lengthy. And uh, the way he just stiff-armed that damn linebacker, whoever the hell it was, oh my God, I was, I was stunned out of my mind when I saw that. Um, Kind of, kind of weird seeing him having Deshaun Jackson's number, but maybe it's a good luck charm. Who knows? But um, he's going to be a top player. Um, he, let me rephrase, top player. He's going to be a very productive slot, a slot wide receiver that's quick with his feet, that has the size to turn around, use his body to catch the ball. Um, he catches mostly everything. He doesn't catch with his chest. Most, most of his catches are from his bare hands. Sometimes he, do, he wouldn't even wear gloves during practice. The guy can catch barehanded like it's nothing. Because um, the gloves can make a little bit of a difference when you're catching the ball. Um, Nelson Aguilar, have not seen much from him. I mean, that, it's, only, it's only been one preseason game, guys. A good offseason for him. One preseason game, one target. They, they, honestly, the first preseason, preseason game, I'm not expecting them to, to aim at one guy the whole the whole two series that they were in there. They ran the ball, they threw it to a tight end, you know, they threw it to, you know, they did a wide receiver reverse, you know, the fucking play that I don't get why he did that stick. You know, it's just like how the Green Bay Packers were blitzing every fucking play. Like, why are you blitzing in a preseason game? Like, don't you want to give your, like, what are you trying to do? Like, all right, so if you blitz during a preseason game, you're not giving a good look for your side? Or, like, don't you want to see your defensive linemen do something, um, you know, get to the quarterback on their own, getting through an offensive lineman on their own, and, you know, you're blitzing? They blitz like, a lot during that fucking game, and it was kind of nonsense and pointless. So, um, hopefully that doesn't happen again. I actually want to have some good looks. Um so, you know, Nelson Aguilar only had one target. I think he was targeted, you know, on like a quick, a quick pass, slant, a quick, uh, a slant pass, not a slant pass. Like just, he just, uh, Carson Wentz hiked the ball and he fucking darted it diagonal to his left. And, you know, Nelson Aguilar was a few yards, but, uh, you know, behind the end zone, but I don't know if it bounced off him or whatnot, but that was the only target he had. And everybody's bitching about, you know, him with that. I understand everyone's waiting until the regular season, but, you know, let, give the guy a chance to at least do something. I know Matt Collins is, is our boy. Um, I want to see Matt Collins do it again because if he plays a terrible game next fucking game, then it, it can get sticky. But it's it's hard to say that Matt Collins is going to be bad because just, just Carson Wentz escaped pressure from Clay Matthews and then just darted it to him, and he did the rest of the work on his own. He got rid of two people that were on him, um, starting de uh, defensive guys for – the Green Bay Packers ended up going and, you know, stiff arm. One guy kind of just, like, kept his arm behind him, and the guy kind of fell because he pushed him off. His long arms, his big 6'4 body can make a huge difference, but with speed at that size, it's pretty fucking dangerous to me. Um, and then stiff arming that guy at the end. <laughs> oh, shit. And she was like, oh, yo, what the fuck? You know, I was, like, freaking out, you know. And, uh, oh, my God, I was like, who? Oh, Matt Collins? Holy shit. I'm like, oh, this, oh, they're in trouble now. I know Jordan Matthews had some good catches, you know, whatever. Got one catch where he used his body, got physical, caught the ball, pushed the guy off, went around um, at least another, you know, five, you know, four or five yards. Um, but, you know, that's all over now. But Matt Collins seems like to be the star that we need. Um can't do not a wide receiver by committee. Come on now. We, we Whoever plays better should fucking play, and that's plain and simple. That's for me. And whoever plays better should fucking play. I think they want to give both of them a chance because now technically Matt Collins has had the better game. He's had the better game. He's gotten a touchdown, and he caught a few other passes. But Nelson Aguilar, I don't think they put after those two series, Nelson Aguilar wasn't in that game. That was it. He wasn't even in the game at all. I mean, Nelson Aguilar was playing because Alshon Jeffrey was out. That was probably the only reason why he was playing. Or they, you know, switched him and Hollins up and Matthews. You know, that's three slot receivers you got to watch out. You got to, you know, 
if Alshon was playing, then it would be a little bit harder because then you got to switch three guys out. So, I mean, I'm surprised Nelson Aguilar wasn't thrown into the fucking game later on. I mean, for a bit, I mean, for a few plays, for a series, for a few series, something. I mean, they I mean, throw him in with the fucking th uh, third strings. I don't give a shit. Just put him on the field. See what he can fucking do. Okay? I know it's at third strings or four strings or whatnot, but at least you're doing something. You're giving a fucking look. You know, it's just, you just got to give good looks. And Nick Foles is coming back. Thank God if I see McGloin pass the ball one more fucking time, I'm going to, I'm going to literally, I swear to God, like, I I don't know. Like, I, it made me want to go out to the parking lot, put my car in fucking neutral, run myself over with it. And then tell the person to put it back in drive and run me over again. Because I, like, watching him pass the ball was, I was just like, I was just like looking at him pass the ball. I was like. What was that? You know, it was like that every time. Every time, I'm like, oh, I'm not going. The fuck was that? Every time that happened, that's my reaction to Matt McGloin. Dane Evans actually looked better. Was more uh, swifty, swifty, S mobile in the pocket, and he was very mobile in the pocket. And his, and honestly, uh, Dane Evans, his spiral was like a bullet, like hit wide receiver like that. Um, on top of all that, so, um, I'm not going to talk about, you know, the next preseason game, you know, what we expect, because I'm going to make that into another video sooner than expected, so, which is going to be tomorrow, so you'll hear about that for a good 25 to 30 minutes, probably, maybe, I don't know, depends how much thorough I am with everything, but the whole wide receiver by committee, I don't, I do not agree with, I, I don't agree with it, but... If it works, it works. They want to keep guys fresh on offense. They want to tire guys out. I don't know because the whole point, we should be, if we're a good offense, we don't need to be running 20-something plays on offense. You know, it, we should be getting touchdowns pretty easily this year, um, especially with a great running back, you know, a good force like, like Garrett Blunt, which now he has number 29 back to his regular number from the damn Patriots. And Ronald Darby took... 35, which was LeGarrette Blunt's number. So now he doesn't want that number. He wants to be in the 20-something. So Wendell Smallwood, bend over, take your fucking jersey off, and give it to the man that's better than you on this damn team. And we won't have to talk about this anymore. Um, that's all I got to say. Ryan Matthews, that was a big, big thing. Big move. Big move, man. That happened today. Fetz 4 million cat. How he's going to go get somebody else? I don't know. Probably not. I mean, hey, if they do for a good price, yeah, let's do it. But we're done. Don't give away any picks. We don't need. We'll get a third round pick back next year. I'm not just saying that because I feel bad that we lost. I'm saying that because we got more than enough value as for a third round pick and Ronald Darby. So I'm happy with it. He's impressing the past two days. He's been doing phenomenally. Picked off Carson Wentz. He's breaking up passes. He's staying right next to Torrey Smith. Not behind him. He's not running behind him. He's running next to him. Okay. And Torrey Smith got a little cocky, like, oh, oh, you know, the only person he can't beat is me. I mean, he beat me a few times, but I, I beat him a few times too, you know? Which is fine. Competition is competition. Corner, a good no no bunny on this. I mean, out, these wide receivers were having an all-day affair. Honestly, what? What, the first, before the first day at, uh, of open practice at Lincoln Financial Field on that Saturday? What, 25 for 26 passes against this fucking defense? Who's going to guard that? Aaron Grimes? CJ Smith, that one juke and he's fucking gone. Jet Janis fucking went by him like it was nothing. It was like, literally, Jet Janis, like, he ran upfield, he literally did this. And just like, and then CJ Smith was like, shit. And he ran, had to go upfield. Fucking touchdown. Hey, I'm used to seeing this the past few fucking years so it doesn't really matter i'm used to seeing this every damn year deep balls 60 yard deep ball 70 hey hey screw it. let's just make it 80 yard deep balls break the damn record but ronald darby oh my god the future is bright and we just have to embrace that shit and it's gonna come it's gonna come once once we get our pieces back i think he's a good puzzle fit um and I noticed that, you know, social networking with Ronald Darby, it wasn't, the team didn't social network with him um, when he got on the team like they do with everybody. I think that Jordan Matthews thing, the trade hit him very hard. And look, you know, it's, it's I understand the friendships, but it's a business. I understand it. That's the part of the business that sucks. That's got to really suck when you get close to a player for years. And, you know, I mean, you know, Carson Wentz has only been two years. Um, 
but you know when you get close to a player and you know it's sh- and they get traded shit happens like that um it is what it is and uh you know that's just part of the business and that's what they got to deal with but we're we got to forget about Jordan Matthews now you know he'll you know he'll always be have a place in my heart on this team cuz I love the guy I love his passion um but we got to move the fuck on cuz we got a fucking player that's going to shut down number 1 Wide receivers in this fucking league. And he will run with anybody and destroy anything and make sure they do not catch a fucking thing. So, um, I'm going to end this video now. I got to go eat. I'm eating an Italian combo. Fresh red peppers, mozzarella, provolone. provolone. Jesus. Um, I'm starving. I'm going to go eat. The live stream will be on tonight because I have nothing to freaking else to do with my damn life. I got to work tomorrow. Then I'm off Thursday for the damn game. So Wednesday night, come join me in the live stream. I'm going to be doing like a big, um, I don't know what I'm doing yet, but it's going to be a big live stream. I want to talk strictly Eagles, nothing else, no nothing else, you know, until the chat is pretty much done. Um, I know it's more, I know it's nice and crowded on the weekends in the live stream, but everyone subscribe to that. Um, everyone subscribe to my new, uh, live stream channel because my main channel got copyrighted, um, copyright strike. So I won't be able to live stream for three months and it's, it's fine. It's all right. I don't, it doesn't matter. As long as I can upload videos, it's fine. But I need you guys to subscribe to that channel for the time being. Um, I know I've said it in every comment. I pinned every comment in every video. I just want you guys to understand that yeah, that's where my live streams are. And for now, they're going to be on that channel. Everything else is on this channel. But the live streams only, like when I'm playing GTA or, you know, when I'm playing Madden soon, because GTA is getting on my freaking nerves. Um, that's what's going to happen. So, um, that's pretty much it. So, I may probably make a video later, see what you guys are doing. So, I'll see you guys later. Fly goes fly. Let's get ready for Thursday. The truth is here and... The talent is around, so let's embrace it and let's let them birds fly. See you guys later.